Alright, let's go grab this seed. Moving now. Okay, we got a seed. And we got a willpower out of it. Which is probably gonna help quite a bit, actually. Uh okay. Let's No no, you're not going over there, silly. Is that gonna be too close? My blade I have is no ever idea. Ready. A little bit concerned. Let's move way. you up a bit. My blade Let's move you up. Also, a bit. It will be done. All right. I now, finally. Uh, I say finally. I think we might actually wait a bit to get this guy into position. I want to see if he can actually climb up here or what. I have no idea. I think he can. But I do want to check when he's got some AP, you know. So that'll do. William's well, still rising. Uh, they're still loitering, so that's fun. Standing and unleash me. Islanders can indeed climb up here and push these pillars over, which I think is going to be very me. exciting. Hooray! Uh, we also have enough willpower to provoke, I am here to serve. so we can carry on doing more um, silly nonsense. Okay, I guess. Just move to here. Here we go. Alright, not bad. Uh, no. D don't do anything for Mortarion. Bad. Bad. Demon. Chap. Alright. So, extractor seed. Let's see how many. Two. Alright, two whole extractor seeds. How exciting. Excellent work, Commander. I trust your men have preserved some samples for my study. Do return them to the Edict at once. Because, of course, reinforcements are coming. But it's only the one. So, actually, let's kill everyone. Uh, so I could move here and knock this over. Oh, can we hit the one? Really? That is a pity. And I could do a follow-up attack, which is nice. Uh, Kajalan. Can also use an astral aim, so I could shoot that guy's... Uh, I could actually shoot that guy's ranged weapon off, couldn't I? So that's pretty good. Other than that, am I, do I just want to... Do I actually just want to put them in an Overwatch trap? Maybe I do, actually. That's... Kind of disappointing. My blade is ever ready. What is your will? What is my will? It's a very Standing good question. Alright, look, you're you're in good shape, okay? Let's move you up here. You have to go quite far up. Um is that worthwhile? No, let's get you with two AP. Okay, let's get you with two AP. So you can do a bit of damage to this guy. Maybe. My blade is yours. Uh, you. you do some fairly good damage to that guy from here, just shooting as normal. Which I like. Uh, how much ammo do you have? Three out of three. Uh, and now you can also do quite a good move here. Okay, now what's the range on Provoke? I mean, I can provoke these two. This guy's probably going to start shooting at us. But I think I can handle that. I think I'm kind of happy with him shooting. He may do Suppressing Fire, which is very, very dangerous. The Emperor lights our path. But... Not the end of the world. Alright, so I'm going to shoot him. Let's just start getting some damage in there. We're, we're pretty much out of harm's way. I think the, the one that's going to get shot is the one who's going to survive uh, getting shot quite happily. You know, Chaplin's got a lot of armor. Praise the Emperor. Yeah, praise him indeed. Um, I might want to save the willpower for what's to come. My blade is it really yours. makes me want to push up with him. If he runs up here, knocks that over, and then maybe he could... Hmm, you know, I don't think Aegis is going to do enough for him. I think with a couple of enemies here, he's going to get real hurt. He could move up and taunt these guys, though. In which case, this is a nice way to get some damage to these guys. Screw it. I was wondering if that would 
Domino. I wasn't 100% on it, so I didn't want to mention it, but I'm very pleased it did. That's really satisfying. Uh, so yeah, you can move up and we can get both of those guys interested in um, in murdering me. I know, weird, weird thing to be like, hooray, we can get them to murder us. Uh, I can't walk charge, sadly, don't quite have the willpower. It's a pity, I know, it would be lovely to actually have them fight each other. That would be a very satisfying end to that conflict. Um, so he might... Yeah, this guy might be a jerk and uh, decide to um, parry us. Now he won't be able to parry us because he's a pile of guts and misc. That's right, organs come in miscellaneous. Uh, okay, let's do that. Here he comes. He's probably just going to shoot um, Iolanthus, which is fine. Yeah, see? I got, I got armor for days. Even though he is probably going to take a bit of damage here. Oh, no. No. Cadillon just crushing it. Alright, let's ruin this guy's day. What is Warp Search going to do? All that means gain five up for a ten. Of course, of course. Just make it impossible to kill you. Thanks. Thanks, game. You jerk. All right, let's just walk away from those two because there's no point being near them, and uh, that will do it. You know, there's really not much else to worry about. Uh, four damage Moving from now. here is better. Though he's going to run out of ammunition, isn't he? Which is a pity. But I can astrolabe with that one ammo. And I could even warp charge, but I don't see the need to ignore the armor when he's got so much that no one else can ignore it. Yeah. Alright, good armor break. Could disable his melee weapon. Could blind the little sod. Uh, or I could start trying to stun him. I'm not sure the extra stun will help, but we can always give it a go. Like, a crit's a crit. Does some extra damage. Oh, it destroyed his cover as well. That was very lucky. That was very lucky. Thanks, buddy. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately you do need to reload. That's a shame. Just hoping he can keep shooting. Uh, now, I guess I need to teleport to him again. Because I don't want to trigger his nonsense. Hello there. Okay, let's get a crit for some extra damage. Uh, or extra stun. We really might be able to stun him. Maybe. Probably not, though, right? Probably not. But hey, it's fine. It's more damage. The warp resists my will. Oh, you don't... You don't want that, you know. Well, we're out of willpower. That's okay. Because the enemy are out of turns. Uh, right, let's just shoot him. We're going to kill him before we can stun him, even though we went all over the stuns. This might mean higher difficulties, more health, which means you actually get the opportunity to uh, to get stuns in. Glory to Zyphos! You know, on, on better units. Much more often. Which is fun. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm close enough to doing it. I guess I'll just do that and we'll see. And you do that? I don't know why. And uh, he's going to take a bit of damage. So that's interesting. So the armor doesn't seem to last into the enemy's turn again. If it's due to a warp surge, it's only for your turn. So that's really fun. Oh, wait, no, they. Oh, no, sorry. I just do six damage with my Storm Bolter on an Overwatch with him. Unleash me. My bad. Okay, let's uh, just do that again, I think. I will have to move slightly, though, annoyingly, because I can't quite. You know what? I think that will do the trick, actually. Should have reloaded first, though. That That's. Unleash me. Well, it's too late. And you as well, actually. Armed and ready. Even though it's two shots with the Overwatch, regardless. I will hold them here. And you should. You should hold them there. And yep, you can do the same. They shall not pass. And uh, I guess you should move up a bit. Me, Look at us using Overwatch to get things done. I Very exciting.
Alright, so he's dead. Now what about his friend? Oh, yep, he's gone. Beginning teleportation. Victory. That went really well. Like, really well. We killed absolutely everything. Like, a lot of these missions end with us just sort of wandering off, but, uh, no, no, go on. Hello, gang. Uh, four and seven. Pretty good. Pretty good. And the ten servitors. We also make a requisition as well. I mean, 21 requisition. We're finding the position to spend requisition. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. So, Tarn's Interdict. Uh, we can upgrade the damage. It's got really good crit chances and armor break as standard. Oh, that's a good doctor. Surgically removing bits of armor. Oh, that's fun. And this one, Overwatch with increased range and damage, which isn't bad. Extra ammo as well, but eh, that's fine. This one says Doom on it, which I like. It's a Psych-Out Grenade, Tier 2. Um, afflicted target cannot use Psychic Abilities. I wonder what Psychic Abilities count as for um, for our enemies. Like, does, does Mutating count as a Psychic Ability? Or is it simply like the, the Wizards using their their attacks. Is, is that it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure quite what counts as psychic abilities for our enemies. I haven't paid enough attention. Uh, warp Scorn. Plus two willpower. Warp Suppression. Does not increase warp surge when using psychic abilities. That's really cool. Wow. I really like that. And, uh, yeah. Huge, uh, potential for huge armor. We get plus four armor. Total. I really like this one. This is very cool armor. So, I'm gonna have it. Uh, and then, uh, Cador Cadillon, an interceptor. I, I don't think we really need any more folk um, in the gang. I think we can do without. Uh, Fury of Dimos is fine. It's not the best, though. I think I'll leave it. I think I'll leave it. But those two weapons, very cool. Well, weapon and armor. Items, I think, is the word I was looking for. But, yeah, these are great. These look great. I'm very happy with this. The extra crit chance is really nice. With the armor break. Because if you get a crit, you can also apply armor break using the crit. So this could just strip armor for days off our enemies, which is really cool. And we can get up to five damage, which isn't bad. Pretty good for a doctor, you know. Pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'm very satisfied. It's it's lovely to get rewards again. I'm very happy with that. So, uh, oh, also I just got an achievement. What's that one? Uh, acquire a master crafted level three melee weapon. Let's go. Let's go that achievement. Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, couple of promotions. What should we get for you, other Iolanthus? So, uh, oh, apparently, uh, apparently I've been made aware that the talents and augments here. So the the top bit just says, you know, chaplain, that's the thing. But the, the bit underneath, that's not just like additional effects for that class. Apparently that's unique to each person, which is something I ne never dawned on me that could be the case. So uh, this guy gets extra crit for his ranged attacks. Isn't that fun? So maybe that's something we should uh, we should exploit. So, I mean, I've given him good provoke, and that doesn't actually lead anywhere else. So, what else have we got? Uh, extra armor permanently is hilarious. What does that lead to? When executing targets, gain additional AP. I mean, it's fine. I guess. Just how often are we going to get those, uh, you know, not crits, those uh, executions? Probably not very likely. Uh, less ability cost for Will of the em uh, Emperor's Will, which lets me give willpower to people, which I do really like. I think that's a really fun idea. Uh, all of my knights gain additional resistance, and I get extra passive equipment slots, which is quite fun. Now, what's this down here? So, extra crit for ranged attack, so we could just keep stacking this stuff. Uh, when a knight crits target the ranged attack, they gain additional AP. Yeah, go with this stuff, sounds good. Let's go all in with the crit stuff. And what's this one? Invocation of Focus. Extra 15% chance to gain willpower after Warp Charge or Cybolt. I mean, this is quite nice, just to have this um, active. Quite like that. Also, Focus plus 25% permanently. So all of his autos can go up. So yeah, I think we're going to go down here, then we're going to go up here. I reckon. So we're going to start with Emperor's... Oh, sorry. Willpower, then Emperor's Will. We're not getting that far yet. Soon. 
But hey, we got promotion, it's all good. Uh, and he's a little injured, he's a little injured. Only 12 days though, which is pretty, pretty weak. You know? Oh, also this guy does extra crit damage with his melee attacks. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I like that. Also, his melee attacks cannot be parried. I, this is something that I always forget. So these little middle things, you know, the unique stuff for each of our characters and the actual class things, I should pay more attention to those. Uh, let's see, plus five range for the teleport is brilliant. And he can have support fire, which I quite like. Because that means if I teleport, because like he's always using his uh, melee weapons. Like, always. I'm using his melee weapons all the time. I'm rarely bothering to waste AP on him shooting anyone. So the idea of him actually being able to use that ammunition up, just doing support fire on enemies, is really good. So I really do like that. Also, if we get to Enduring Reflexes, which I can uh, next level up, he gets plus one use per turn for all their autos, which includes anyone running past him, he can slice them up, which is pretty cool. So I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Also, he can get a Silencer as well at some point, which would be really nice for the support fire. But, uh, oh, what's this one over here? Psychic Melee Attack, Cleansing Strike. Oh yeah, it removes mutations. That's really fun too. And we can give him Armor Pierce. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that a lot too. Um... Oh, these are all so good. And yeah, this also gains extra damage per shot. So we can actually do five damage every time he uses support fire if we upgrade all that, which just seems like the best thing ever. So we'll do that. I really like that combo. He runs in, chops someone's like arm off or something. Everyone else starts shooting and he'll just empty his clip into them. That sounds like a really good way to just maximize damage on our enemies. Okay, let's go. So uh, let's talk to uh, old uh, uh, Ektar, that's the one. I was going to call him Elcor again. I keep thinking that he's the weird... They're the squid guys from Mass Effect, right? Elcor? Anyway, whatever. Ektar. Brother Ektar. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? Again, this guy, he's always flirting with me. You disapprove of the Inquisitor's artifact? I despise it. It is a profane thing, made with Xenos and treacherous elements. Do we not ourselves use Tesseract Labyrinth? We fight the Preternatural, and must be armed as such. Indeed, we have a sacred duty to purge demonkind. We fight the Preternatural, and must be armed as such. The Ordo Malleus also makes use of such unconventional tools. They succumb too easily to corruption. They are human, often unaugmented and without the benefit of Titan's rigorous training. They succumb too easily to corruption. Unlike Grey Knights, as you know, we are incorruptible. Yes, if you like. Ektar, you tend to the brother's spiritual needs. The Knights look to me for guidance to keep their souls as pure as possible. The Purifiers are an order apart, even in the lonely halls of Titan. I hold the rank of Knight of the Flame, standing above my fellow brothers. The knights look to me for guidance to keep their souls as pure as possible. Is that not a chaplain's purview? The edict has not always carried a chaplain on board, so the role has fallen to me. I know the 666 verses of contempt well enough. You should join us, Commander, as the next canticle of absolution. <laughs> let's let's discuss something else. Yes, if you like. Uh, what do you think of my recent performance? I am extremely impressed. Like I said, he's always flirting. Go with, me. with the wisdom of Janus, brother. We'll do, we'll do, mate. Uh, we're not going to talk to um, uh, Lunette yet. Not yet. So we can't reach any other missions yet either, which is a pity. Uh, I mean, they're not looking too, too bad ish. That place is not looking too hot, though, is it? Yeah, it's at three. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's the one that we really need to cleanse in a hurry. It's not looking great. We don't have any prognostic cards yet, do we? What have we actually got on the go at the moment? Oh, it's nothing, because we didn't have the servitors, did we? Uh, in that case, do we want to get another prognostic card now? I forget what we had on the agenda. Uh, I mean, healing. Our uh, hull might be a good idea. Just to, you know, get this done now. But, uh, void shields are the same price. And that puts up a maximum, which is quite nice. So, I mean, that's plus two, that's plus one, but, you know, it's, yeah. 
So I'm not sure. Not sure. Gun batteries would be nice too. Yeah, void shields sound like a good idea. The apoth Apothecarion I've been thinking about as well. Meditation chamber gets more experience. I mean, we could get huge bonuses to experience. We really could. This might be worth doing now that we have like quite a big disparity between um, unit levels. Might help uh, help catch up some of our guys. Oh, the prognostic guard would be useful though. It's all useful, to be fair. Like, that's the beauty of this system. I, I'm never in a position where I think, Nah, we don't need that. We'll never need that. No, we always seem to need something here. We always need to have a few different things, in fact. Um, I mean, extra construction speed, I don't think matters too much. Research speed might be useful. That might be a useful thing to get. Because, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of bonuses we could be getting to research. I hadn't bothered to get any of them yet. But no, I like the idea of more hull integrity. Keeps us safe. Alright, let's move to... I think I might move up here. Because that's looking a bit iffy as well. But yeah, I'm going to move up to here. So that way if we get missions up in the north, we, we might be able to address them quickly. Which means getting rid of that awful corruption that we seem to be dealing with up in, up in that bit. I say north. Hard to say. Hard to qualify what north is. Given that it's space, but... You all know what I mean. Warning. Three servitors have been infected with Galapox. Quarantine protocols have been enacted. However, the contact source remains unknown. Galapox? Some new development of the bloom? Negative. Contamination commonly emerges from the Gala fields during prolonged warp travel. Total unit deconstruction and scrubbing recommended. Would it not be prudent to suspend operations until we can purify the ship entirely? A ship-wide system's infection could cripple our progress. With all due respect, purifier, we cannot afford to sit on our hands while the bloom spreads unchallenged. Well, this is a nuisance, isn't it? Uh, we could wait some time, but we are waiting for a new mission to crop up anyway. So this does seem like the ideal time to wait, but it sometime could mean like 60 days for all I know. Um, but I think purifying the ship is a good idea because we are the only ship here. If, if we're not careful, then we're sort of screwed. Um... Yep. I will not rest until the last trace of this poison 20. has been purified from the ship. Twenty days. That is a long time. That is a long. We're probably not going to get up here before the next mission's trigger. That's okay. We'll see how it goes. All right, 16, 15, 14. And new missions. Crap. We can't get to any of them. And there is actually one in the spot where I need to be. Oh, that's bad news. Yep, that's bad news. God, these are punishing. Those having to wait is punishing. Yeah, should have moved on. Should have moved on. Might have lost more servitors or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we can't reach anywhere. That's very sad. That's very bad news. That's going to max out, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, so, deeper analysis of the void shields revealed the existence of several weak spots where protection was almost non-existent. The layers of shielding were miscalibrated and so out of phase with one another. After completing the 12 rites of ascent and harmonization, I am pleased to report this edict has complete void shield coverage. Excellent. Now, can we... I don't know what, honestly. Can, can we something? Oh, also, we'd actually have enough for upgrades if, uh, if we hadn't lost those servitors. This is the only thing we can afford. Oh, actually, we can get the meditation chamber. Should I get that as well? Yeah, screw it. Let's get that. I don't want to be idle at any point. Alright, what's going to happen when this fills up? What's going to happen? I have no idea, but I bet it's bad. And there's an enemy ship headed there too. Great. Alright, two more days. Advanced seed extraction, though. No, this is good news. This is very good news. We've got to get more seeds out of... Out of seeds now. Commander, I've been studying how the Dodoros strain affects its victims. The infection attaches directly to the nerve endings, replacing ordinary sensation with incessant agony. By mimicking this effect, we can briefly incapacitate seed carriers so that more seeds survive the removal process intact. It is an excruciating procedure, but this is just penance for leaving the Emperor's light. <laughs> That's the spirit. Alright, let's have a look. Um, I mean, it's going to be a bunch of stuff we can get. 
which would be quite useful. So how are we doing? We have quite a lot of the blue ones, which kind of makes me want to make the blue things cheaper so we can really just go nuts with them. So we've seen how Poxa Seeds can be turned against the enemy, allowing me to break down the Mortar Seeds into their essence, so we might truly harness their power and fortify your knights with Purity Seals of Resolve to face down death itself. So that's all lovely, but let's have a quick look. So extra willpower warp surge is actually kind of nice, but that's only if we got a um, uh, 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 prognostic card cover, right? So that's not going to help us everywhere. Hmm. It's a toughie. It's a toughie. There's some nice stuff over here that I'd love to get. Uh, there's stuff down here that's crazy. Like, uh, yeah, extra stratagem use. So useful. So useful. Let's see, 16 days, 22 days, 31 days. I mean, we can make it down there. But it'll take, you know, about 100 days, which is, well, not 100, only about 60-something. So that's not terrible. But no, let's try and get this cheaper. I want to get more upgrades on our equipment. Okay. God. And now we can start moving again. So I do want to head over here anyway. It might mean attacking this ship, though. Oh, the warp storm over there, that's a bit of a bother too. Although, actually, this area doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's not so bad, actually. I'm not fussed about that. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Let's move here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to actually engage with that. I mean, worst case scenario, I lose one hull integrity. And we have, we have more now. Um, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we want to get rid of that ship. Because I think it'll be exciting. Let's do it. Okay, come here, you. Oh, bloom spawn detected. Good. Ektar, your alert has disrupted my essential meditations. We have important tidings. I can already sense Nurgle's corruption. There is something foul at work. There. Curious. We have only just had word from Grandmaster Kai. The prognosticars on Titan have augured the advent of a dire omen in that very system. They spoke of a black edifice, a vortex of foul malevolence. Preliminary estimation, Noctilith Crown. The Eldari Avatar warned me of this. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard. Then the Morbus will come. The Xenos are not to be trusted. The enemy of my enemy, Ektar. I detected no malefic intentions. We should not forget that the Plague God despoiled their home. Commander, let us be clear. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. Bloody hell, everything's kicking off. The bloom has spread to a critical stage of corruption. If we do not stop it now, it will advance the Morbus. Okay, so I'm assuming that means that when it maxes out, the next time you get a bloom mission is one of these missions, and then you have to go there and destroy the gate. Or else it'll spawn the... I don't know, we lose the game. I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, and yeah, we're right on top of a ship. <laughs> Got it, four missions. Well, I hate all of you. So there's if this one. If we fail five flowering missions, the Morbus will come, and this sector will be doomed. I see. So this is the, um, this is our fail timer. So that's cool. So I guess what will be the decider uh, for this, what will like actually become a problem, is that at some point I imagine there'll be a bunch of different uh, places that'll hit sort of critical mass like this and we won't be able to reach them all. So there'll be times where we literally can't be everywhere at once, and that'll be a problem. Also, Inquisitive Akir must survive. Oh, damn, that's awesome. So danger level's extreme. Could be a bunch of nonsense showing up. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have Vakir with us as well to destroy... Oh, to start the Ritual of Destruction. So she's gonna do the Ritual of Destruction to close the gate while we fight everyone off and gain servitors and swords out of the, out of the equation. And corruption will lower a lot, so we won't have to worry too much about Nelux after this. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, I can't wait to go there. But first, we need to deal with that little guy. Um, I guess I can order the move now, right? 
Death Guard encountered. Sure did. Hey, fellas. Warning. The enemy vessel is focusing fire on the Libris Malleus. They seek to destroy my research. Alert. Void shielding has diminished by 90%. Further impact will breach the Libris. Okay, this is cool. Um, I get gun battery level one. I, we've got much better um, stats than this ship we're fighting. But then, of course, it is just trying to hamper our research, like that's all it's doing. So um, our ship might not be at a big risk, but yeah. So open fire, evasive maneuvers, or overcharge the void shields. Our void shields are level three. So they're quite good. I imagine that would mean that they're not going to be as high a risk as if we had them at lower level, right? I mean, that, that tracks, doesn't it? That tracks. Do use the void shields. The void shields are better. This should be our best way out of it. Okay, we're going to overcharge the Libertus' void shields. Redirecting power to void shields. Void shields. Damage, which means edict. The edict took a damage, did it? Oh, no, the, the, we'll take one plus one damage per hit. So yeah, it's what we had before, I think. Uh, and I was like, was that another campaign? No, he's with us. Yeah, so the Void Shields are damaged again. So we'll take more damage from uh, from from damage, but that's okay, because we have three. If we take one damage, we'll take two damage, we'll still be fine. And we can repair the Void Shields fight. Yeah, we're good, okay? This is perfect, and we got some requisition. That was fine. I'm happy with that. Everything is good. God, this is so exciting, though. Let's go, guys. Uh, and we've done this as well, which means we can get a bunch of uh, upgrades to our equipment before we head in, I think. Well, depending on how much, like, how many blue purification seals are available. So I've been studying how the blue mortars propagate so quickly, despite its lethality. The answer is fear. A metaphysical disease has many vectors, and the mortar strain is transmitted through the terror that spreads from victim to victim. Yet while the plague exploits fear, we shall bestow resolve. Using the mortar seeds ash to fortify your night spirits. After all, you know no fear. That's true. That's true. Totally. It's not true. Don't, don't tell her I said that. Uh, okay. Gain stratagem. Recovers willpower. That's quite nice. No, let's just go nuts. Let's go. Let's go for all the other upgrade ones. All right, we're gonna go for this one next because that's the one we have in the next uh, largest availability. Yeah, this is awesome. So, okay, blue is cheaper, red is cheaper, green is cheaper. Yeah, it's all looking pretty good. All right, star map. Waiting in the sky. I'd like to come and help us. But he thinks he'd blow our mind. Star map by David Dowie. All right, so start the ritual of destruction. This is so cool. Danger level extreme. I have no idea what to expect here. No idea. But yeah, a bunch of different things present. It's very cool, and potentially like a ton of reinforcements. I think I don't really know what that plus is signifying. I, I still am not entirely sure. Uh, oh, is this enemy reinforcements? Ugh. That's how that's pronounced. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll get servitors, lower corruption, bunch of good loot to get out of this. Oh, this is really exciting. And yeah, never done a mission like this. Never done this. So the poison of the impending Morbus flows from this planet. This can only mean that a Noctilith crown is present below. Inquisitor Vakir will lead a mission below to destroy it. And um, yeah, screw it. Let's <laughs> let's challenge ourselves. All right. So Vakir's gonna be with us. Uh, right, now who, who am I going to bring? All right, Iolanthus, I'm swapping you out for Iolanthus. Alright. Uh, Ulrich Iolanthus. Iolanthus. The OG. All right, load out. Armor type Terminator. Armor! Uh, so that's what you got equipped. And I can upgrade it, can't I? I sure can. Is that the one that, I've, that I'm going to be upgrading to be cheaper? Or is that the one I just did? Is blue this cheaper than that? No, that is the one that's going to be next. I still think I want to upgrade this. I know. I know we could get this cheaper later, but I need the armor. I don't need the armor. I want the armor. So yeah, incinerate the bloom seeds and craft. So plus three armor in this, which is good. As well as the extra focus. And, yeah, all good. I mean, that's not bad either, but I think that's better for someone else. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, now your uh, yeah, sorrow is perfect. Your storm bolter. I don't think he needs a fancy one, does he? Well, I've got plenty of, plenty of them. 
No, we don't. We have two. We have two of them. So actually, I think I'll leave that away from you. Because I'm either going to have him, like, age a shield to absorb damage or meleeing stuff. So there's no point um, giving him better range when you have a couple of options. So we have a Purgator, we have an Apothecary in Han. Do we need Han? I'd like to take Storm along, because he's he's one of the OGs. And instead of Kajulon, sorry Kajulon, we're going to take uh, even Kai. Hey Kai. Armor type. Power armor. We're going to give him we want the extra armor and oh my god, these are so expensive. And purple we haven't upgraded to be cheaper yet either, have we? Ugh, oh, what a pain. Grenades have extra range? Do I need that? Um, I guess just the extra armor is nice. We'll do that. Uh, oh, that takes off Storm, though. No, we need Storm to have the armor. Okay, you can have extra health and and grenade damage, I guess. Yeah, we'll take it off Varn. Varn doesn't need it. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, you've got a brilliant weapon already. War gear, the purity seal of precision is incredible. So that's good. Even Kai is all good to go. Next up, we have Aegir Han. Do we want to take you? Do we want to take you? Or do we want to take our Paladin, perhaps? Our Paladin might be a fun one to take. Or our Chaplain. I know I just got rid of that guy from the squad, but I think they're both very useful. They're both very useful. Uh, I'm not going to take Crow, because I can't be bothered to take Crow. In fact, there's been some uh, discussion surrounding the DLC. Um, a lot of people thinking that it's, you know like cheeky of the uh, of the devs to have this guy as a, a sort of the deluxe pack thing but uh, just to show how little I care about this guy off he goes bye bye now he's completely irrelevant I have no love for him he's not one of my one of my gang he's just some random dude like yeah he's got a name in the law but I don't know anything about grey knights I know about these grey knights though these are my boys that guy yeah screw him off he goes so, Aurelian Iolanthus might be a fun one to take. Yeah, I think we're going to take the Iolanthus brothers. We're going to take them both. So, armor type, Terminator armor. Uh, so, the new one was pretty cool. This is the new one. So, Warp Surge doesn't trigger from psychic abilities, which I, I really like. I really do like that. Um... But, just like an upsetting amount of armor is really good. <laughs> Let's just give him an upsetting amount of armor, okay? We're going to give him an upsetting amount of armor and call it a day. Brilliant. Uh, and, and yeah, Storm, you can't equip Terminator armor. Okay, so we got a we got two extractor skulls. I don't think we need two, but also I'm thinking we might need two. I know. I'm conflicted. Uh, so the issue with this... Oh, I feel like with this mission, we might need to bring a heal, you know. We might need to have some healing. So I might actually bring... I can't think who I'd get rid of, though. I mean, a Paladin and a Justicar, they do fill very similar roles. So I might actually get rid of this Iolanthus. I think I am going to take a... Um, an apothecary. I think we might take Han with us. Uh, is Han the one I want to take? Yeah, he's got to be the one I want to take. The other guy got turned into a paladin. Yeah, okay. So we're taking Han. Okay, we're going to change your loadout. So armor type. You can take Terminator armor, which is great. So I can give you the one that has the warp search thing. Good. And I might give him extra willpower as well. The extra willpower is going to be great for him, actually. he will be able to heal people constantly, which I like. Uh, also, melee weapon. So, a better Narthesium. Although, amazingly, this actually heals a lot more. This this Narthesium doesn't have additional healing. But it's a better crit, so this is actually better for killing people than it is for uh, healing people, which I think is quite funny. Also, Biomancies don't get upgraded, so there's definitely utility in Life Giver. But we're playing as, a, as an action medic. So this is the one we're going with. We can also improve the damage. Uh, we can't, actually. We can't afford it. Never mind. More crit, though? More armor break. Crit or armor break? Crit or armor break? I think armor break. Brilliant. Three armor break? Very, very nice. Shame we can't upgrade the damage, though. That is a pity. 
That is a pity. Okay, good. Now, I just want to check his armor again. Uh, so the extra willpower, I think, is quite nice. And we do have plenty of blue. So I'm going to give him even more willpower. Yeah, that works. Although well, we can actually afford this extra armor as well. Ah, oh, do I want to do that? It'll be all of our seeds gone, though. Does that matter? Probably not, right? Screw it. Zero seeds. We won't be able to do that tech that we need to do. It's fine. Probably. Oh, wait, no, we actually did that tech, didn't we? Yeah, now we just need to find... Oh, I don't know. We're, we're good, though. We're all good. Mostly. Kinda. Okay, this looks good. This looks good to me. Uh, I do want you to have a different weapon, though. Although, I have been enjoying grenades for throwing... Oh, wait, you get a servo skill as well, don't you? Don't want the Medicaid one. He is a medic. He is a medic. But also, I like extracting things. That's good, too. Now, we'll, we'll go with the medic slot, and I guess we'll keep the frag grenade. Or... <clears throat> excuse me. Or extra crit damage, because he's got better crit. So I think we're actually going to give this guy the Dominant Liber Demonica. Alright, mad crits, guys. Mad crits. This is going to be great. The extra crit damage? Fantastic. Also, you can probably hear that my voice is cracking a bit. Because I haven't been loading screen in a while. I've not been able to drink any tea, so I'm going to do that now. Delicious. Nothing you can do to stop me. So, I think we're all good to go. This is going to be so exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so I think that's our squad um, as good as I want from them. That's all perfect. And this is going to be a blast. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, where we take down the Noctilith. Take care, guys. Have a good one.